What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Klein, the engineer muscle. Today is gonna be a vlog style home back workout where I'll play with my new pull-up bar. Check the drip. Yes, yeah, starting now. I still have this jersey. Hope you enjoy, feel free to join. Make sure you have some water. Let's go. All right, so the first exercise I'm gonna do is gonna be rear delts uh, face pulls. I'm using this band thingy here. You guys should do this every time you're working out because most of us are shaped like this. And I know you don't want to look like a gorilla. So you got to do these every single day. Warm up is done. Now, what I'm going to do is this pull ups. Now, my goal for today is to do a total of 35 to 36 reps. Now, I've, I'm not strong enough to do all those at one time, but what I'm gonna do is just do some now, go do another exercise, and in my rest of that exercise, do five more, or do some more, then again, go away, do some other exercise, but my goal and my number one exercise for today is the pull-ups. I think I'm in the 31 or 30. So what I'm gonna do for my last set, I'm gonna try to get seven reps and that's it for pull-ups. Okay, that's it for pull-ups. I think that's 36 or 35. Y'all do the math. Okay, so my next exercise is I'm going to do stuff, something for my lower back, so which is going to be modified rack pulls. I don't have a rack, but I have a bench, and I got some dumbbells. Second set of the dumbbell rack pulls. I feel like I could do some more pull-ups, so let's get it in. I'm gonna try to get five. This is what I usually do. I'm focusing on my pull-ups because I want to get my pull-ups to be strong. So in between my sets. If I feel that I can do pull-ups, I'm gonna do it. I just did five, but I have one more set of the modified rack pulls. All right, so 
the dumbbell well, bench pulls is finished. My next exercise is going to be the dumbbell pullovers with 55 pounds. I'm gonna do a total of 36 reps. Now, here's a workout tip for you. Don't get stuck doing three sets of 12. Three sets of 12 is a good rep range, but if you could do more than 12, then do it. Remember, it's the goal is, is time under tension. If 12 reps is too light for you, and or if 12 reps is too easy for you, and you don't have a heavier weight, to do five more reps. Make it 17. I guarantee you, you'll see a difference once you do that. So, dumbbell pullovers is done. That's three sets of 12. Yeah, I couldn't do any more than three sets of 12. But see what I mean? Three sets of 12 was hard enough for me, so I stayed in my rep range. Anyways, time for my next exercise, but before I do that, guess what? More pull-ups. Uh, let's say I'm gonna try to do five again. So my next exercise is a dumbbell row. Now I'm not going to do this the conventional way, I'm going to do it in a different way. You'll see how I do it, but just be forewarned. If you do this at the gym, this, kind, this exercise is kind of sus. So yeah, just be forewarned. Let's go. Now that the dumbbell rolls is finished, I got one more exercise. Now, this is gonna be a killer. My last exercise is going to be the dip station pull-ups pull or reverse rolls. I, I don't know what you call it, but yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Now, if you don't have a dip station at a gym or um, that you could use, uh, a great way you could do a substitute of this is using the Smith machine. Put it at a, a good height, then do this exercise. But yeah, this is a great finisher. This works your whole back, especially if your legs are out. All right, so workout is done. The lights kind of trash, it's nighttime outside. All right, so just to recap, I did pull-ups, I did rack pulls or the modified rack pulls, I did dumbbell pullovers, I did dumbbell uh, rows, and last but not least I did the dip station uh, pull-ups or reverse rows. Now, if you like what you're seeing, and you want to support the movement please give me a thumbs up like subscribe and don't forget to click that notification bell so y'all can be notified when i drop any new videos all right peace and thank you